Hey everybody, Ruan here from Tunnel Vision TV and today I'm going to show you guys how to do some clean plating in After Effects. Uh, probably one of the most important effects uh, if you're doing visual effects. Um, as you can see here, it's a handheld shot. Um, usually what you will do is you will set up your camera on a tripod, take the shot and without any actors in it and then take another shot with your actors in that uh, frame and then you will use the one shot without the actors as your clean plate and um, to do various different visual effects with that. So in this example I'm going to show you guys how to actually do one handheld shot with your actors in the shot and how to actually remove them from that shot to create a clean plate using After Effects and also Photoshop. Right, so in After Effects I'm going to import my footage then drag your footage into a new composition. Let's just select a little piece of this footage, um, just about five seconds, that should be enough. And as you can see, this is handheld. Uh, we've got the actor in the frame. So I'm gonna show you guys how to remove him and to create a clean plate from that. So what you wanna do is uh, you wanna go to your first frame and then click on composition save frame as and click on file and you can leave photoshop that's fine and just save it into a folder i'm just going to call this frame one and then we click on save and render okay once that's done go to that folder and open that file within photoshop now I'm going to use Photoshop for this section, but you can actually use After Effects for that as well because it's got a cloning tool in as well, but I'm not used to it, so I'm going to use Photoshop for this tutorial. So in Photoshop, we basically going to use the clone stamp tool uh, to remove the actor from this frame. So let's just, um, let's just zoom in here a little bit. And then with the cloning stamp tool, we just can hold in Alt, select the section and start to paint over our actor. So I'm going to fast forward through this because this can obviously take some time. Um, but yeah, just try and paint it out as good as possible. And I will see you on the other side. Alright, there you go. So for this tutorial, it's not really perfect, but try and make it as clean as possible. And then you're going to go to File and you're going to go to Save As. And then just save this as a PNG file. I'm just going to call this uh, Frame 1 Clean. And let's click Save. Alright, that's fine. Okay, now we're going to go back to After Effects and I'm going to go back to the composition. Let's create a new null, that's going to be our tracking null, and let's just rename it, let's call it Tracker. And then we're going to go to Motion Tracking Workspace. Then basically what I want to do here, I want to track the shot, and um, just to get the movement of the, the actual camera. Alright, so highlight your footage, and we're going to go to Track Motion, and I'm going to tick Position, Rotation, and Scale. And I'm going to zoom in here a little bit and get two points and there's one let's make it a little bit bigger and let's get another point for this tracker there we go let's make this one a little bit bigger all right make sure you're on frame one and click on analyze forward Okay, so once the track is completed, I want you to click on Edit Target, make sure your Null Object is selected here, click OK, then click Apply, make sure it's on X and Y, and then click OK. So basically that's going to apply the tracking data to your Null, and as you can see, the Null is actually moving. If I enable both shots, play it back, the Null should be sticking to that shot. Alright, we're going to go to the first frame again, and I'm going to import the clean frame that we created in Photoshop. Then what I want you to do is put that on top of your raw footage. There we go. Obviously if you scrub through this you won't see any movement. So what we're going to do is we're going to parent this clean frame to the tracker. So just click on the parent 
and select the tracker and if you move through this now you'll see the frame is actually moving all right so next what we want to do is go to the first frame again highlight your clean frame press t bring down the opacity a little bit so we can see the actor or the object in the background and then what you want to do is you just want to draw a mask around that section of the frame like that and then highlight the clean frame press mm to just add a little bit of a feather about four that should be fine and then you can bring the opacity up to 100 again and if you play this back you'll see you've got a perfect clean plate so i hope you guys enjoyed this very very simple but very useful tutorial um, if you do like my tutorials please subscribe it helps a lot and i will see you guys next time